everybody it's Linda Carroll here from my studio gather of great things and it's another magical Monday it is an absolutely gorgeous day here at the beach it couldn't be better and I have a new collage to work on with you today the collage sheet is up on my Etsy shop and I'll show you the piece that I did uh, in order to get all of my pieces sized and everything so it would work in my collage. Uh, but after I finished the whole thing, I didn't really like the background. Um, you might, I think it might be a little bit too dark, so I did not include the background in this uh, collage sheet kit. So... But take a look at it. Uh, I love the layout, however. I love the layout. And um, I'm going to do a, something a little bit different today in that I'm not going to work with the background. I'm going to work with the things that are on my table and the pieces that I have cut out of the kit. So I hope you all are doing well. And I hope you're ready to collage on this Monday. And so let's start. All right, I've already cut out my pieces. And I printed these on a 24 pound bright white copy paper. So it there it's heavier than the 20 pound copy paper, but it's not the photo paper that I usually use. And the substrate I'm using is a Bristol board, eight and a half by 11 Bristol board. So let's start, let's see what we can do. I just fell in love with my car from last week and I found another old car to work with, and this one is red. Last week's, let's take a look at that one. Last week's was blue, and I did have some red pieces in here. But this week is red. Wow, what a color. What a car. I love it. Anyway, um, this piece I have on my table was left over from a few, two weeks ago, I think, maybe. And I just love the way that the red in here um, works with the red in, in the car. So, I'm going to put my car right in here. And I'm going to cover up most of the, I may cut off the pieces that are still showing, of the um, front fenders. Wow, I already like this. What fun is that? Okay, so I have my car sitting in a plate of flowers. And... My thought process as I did this particular collage, I had my red car and for some reason I saw in my mind's eye a seal um, lying on top of the car and then I found this seal. Now one thing I do love about this particular collage is that the waterfall is falling and I cut the seal's mouth so that it's falling right into his mouth. So, I do have my seal. And I'm going to sit him. Let's see. I'm going to sit him right here on top of the car. But I want his flipper to overlap to the front of the car. So I'm just going to cut right up the line of the flipper so I can slide 
the flipper over the car like this okay so that makes it look more like uh, he is actually sitting on top of the car and now what do I want to do I had um, since I had this seal I was thinking about the word seal and what came to mind is a wax seal and what do you use to make a wax seal but a stamp so I wanted to include these two things in here so in the collage that I made I had the seal the stamp sitting on the seal so let's move this down a little bit okay let's see if I can still get this seal to sit on the seal okay I like that but I can still see the under part of the seal and I of the stamp I don't want that so I'm just gonna cut right along this edge like that and that will give me an edge and that will sit right on the flipper of the seal okay that is fun and then kind of in a topsy-turvy world the seal could sit on top of the stamp and I kind of like that too so I'm gonna have to move this down even more so I can have a little bit of white space up there at the top okay well that's fun I think and let's see what comes next I was thinking about for some reason um, kind of being sealed up being sealed in a place things being sealed into places and I thought about last year and even somewhat this year and being made to stay at home um, during lockdown and I found these this lockdown uh, let's see these would be like plastic strips that would go across a door or a dangerous area and I liked that and then I thought okay if you have a, if you have to spend a long time in a lockdown what would be better than a martini my preference is a dirty martini but since I'm working with the color red here I found a cosmopolitan and put that up front and center okay so I really actually I really like the way this looks on this um, <laughs> on this white background remember last week I think it was last week um, or maybe it was the week before I did the collage on the green background and I didn't really like that th that much but this this I really I really like it's making all of my colors really really stand out and then I started thinking some more about um, about the fact that this virus is still going on and 
Okay, I thought about the the virus and how how we were locked down last year and then I thought about the junk journal kit that I did last year around this time. It was a steampunk, kind of a spooky steampunk junk journal kit. And one of the images I found was this mask um, of the for the plague doctor. And the plague doctor wore this mask um, that kind of looked like a crow. And the mask had goggles in it. And then they would dress all in black with gloves. They had a black hood up over their head and a leather hat down over the mask to seal the mask. And I, I've always thought that was just an interesting, um, interesting looking piece. So since I'm talking a lot about what happened last year and indeed is still it's still going on somewhat, unfortunately. I thought I put a seal down here. And the title of this collage is Sealed. And I wanted it to be well sealed. And then balance the plague doctor's mask or head on top of that and one thing that happened last year that was a good thing was huh we reached we would we were more apt to reach out to people we hadn't been in contact with for a while and talk to them, communicate with them. And I thought since we did that, I would add a telephone to my collage. Now I need to cut out these inside parts. So remember I said if you cut right along the edge where two things meet, you can then glue those pieces back together. And you won't even know that you cut them. So I'm just gonna cut this white area here around the phone cord. Let's see if that's enough. I'm going to have to cut the bottom one, too. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I forgot two pieces on the collage. I didn't put them in the collage kit, so I'm going to have to amend that. Okay. Okay, the only thing I have to worry about is that little piece in there, but I'm not going to try and cut that out. I'm going to go in with a red marker and um, probably fill that in. 
<coughs> because what I'm seeing is I forgot to put this border and pedestal in here, which I'm sure is something that the plague doctor used to grind up uh, herbs or whatever into a powder to administer. And I forgot the owl, so I'm going to have to add another sheet to the, um, to the download. That's okay. I'll get that done. And, you know, I'm a stickler for having three of things. So I have three stamps. So it's well stamped. It's well sealed. Um, and then I started thinking about, well, did they use, um, uh, what are those things that they get out of, out of lakes, um, to bleed people during the Black Plague? Leeches. And, um, the closest thing I could find to a leech was a snail, but that's gooey enough. So I added my, my snail to the top of my plague doctor's hat and it kind of looks like he's looking up here at the seals both the wax seal the stamp and the seal seal the real seal well the pretend seal the paper seal okay now i need something to balance over here and i don't have my my mortar and pedestal and i don't have my owl but i really want my owl i have some pieces from um last week's collage i have a headless woman and i have a blue bottle Blue bottle would work, kind of a an elixir bottle. What else do I have here? And I have this head. And I have this head from last week. Hmm. That might work. And I have a green bottle. Well, I really want this owl, so I'm going to cut it out of my collage. Okay, I think my, everything kind of went gallywampus there for a bit. So, here are my basic pieces. And I like the repetition of the glass with the, the um, martini and the glass decanter. I like my three stamps here. I think the only thing that I don't have repeated is the wood from the stamp handle. 
have the red repeated throughout. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and cut the mortar and pestle out of this collage too. I really like uh, the weight of this 24 pound paper. Um, it's kind of like uh, magazine pages. The weight of magazine pages. So it's not as thick as the matte photo paper. So you don't um, see really see the white edges that much. And I like that. So let's see what would happen if we put the mortar and pedestal on top of the doctor's head and then put the snail on top of that. I'm looking at the height of the decanter and the height here of my snail and I think that gives it better balance with those two. Okay, the only thing I can see down here is I can't see my other um, lockdown tape. So I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to move this up, I think. Okay. Okay, so there we are. It's busy, but I think I really like it. It's definitely making a statement. And I really don't do um, a lot of political statements in my collages, but I think this one's more of a comment on how I felt um, during the last year. I gained weight. <laughs> I think we're all getting a little bit wiser um, going through this uh, time in history. And so I think I'm ready to glue this down. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just move my pieces up so I kind of remember what I did. First thing I want to do is glue my flowers to the bottom of my car, my plate. And I'm just using my glue stick.
And then I need to get my lockdown tape glued onto my car. Now, do I want to leave these extended across the car? I don't think so. I think I'm going to trim up my pieces that are overhanging now. And remember, I trim from the back so my scissors can follow the image. Here I have to turn it over so I can't see the front fender or the plate. Okay, and then I have a little bit of the fender showing here that I want to get off, and a little bit right here, okay. A little tiny piece here. There we go. Oh, I got a little teeny piece right there. Okay, so I have to tuck my seal behind my car. I think that's the only thing, the only thing that goes behind the car. So I think I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here. 
and on the flapper. And set him on here. Or set her on here since she's definitely becoming a she. Okay. And I think I'm ready to glue this piece down. Now, to figure out where I want this to go at the bottom, I have to make sure that I have room at the top. So on here, I'm fine. And here I'm fine. So I can have a little bit of my base showing, which I'm happy that. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll glue down this entire piece. So let's center this. And get totally glued down. You want to make sure you get any air bubbles that are in here taken away. You don't want your air bubbles messing up your collage i really like this on this white background we haven't really done that before okay i'm going to put this telephone here on this side and be careful with your little little pieces and gentle with those And then we had this piece. You see a little bit of white here. You know, it's funny, I was thinking, you know, um, that during lockdown, I didn't drive anywhere. I didn't drive anywhere for months. So that's another little, little comment there on my experience. Okay, now I had this piece here. 
with the plague doctor's head sitting here on the top. I want to maybe put the mortar and pedestal here and the doctor's head here. And then the stamp. here and then the snail here I think I like that better and then we have our stamp here our stamp there and our seal here and our lady's head, which seems to really match the colors well, here. And then our owl here. And don't forget the martini here okay I like that a lot all right I'm gonna glue this down and look at your edges we talked about you wanted those to kind of make sense where your pieces are balancing on top of each other. And then I want this edge of my mortar and pedestal to be on the edge of the car here, right here. Okay, and then we have our doctor, our plague doctor's head. Here. And then we have the other wax seal. I was so enthusiastic about these wax seals that I ordered a <laughs> I ordered a wax seal kit last night while I was watching TV to use in my grimoire, my autumn autumn uh, grimoire journal. And uh, I can't wait for that to get here. It has the little um, pieces of wax and the little burner that has a little tea light candle in it. And then the little dipper that you dip your wax onto whatever it is, your paper, and then your a stamp. So, I've been thinking about getting one, and this uh, collage encouraged me to go ahead and do that. Do you want this lady's head on this snail? Hmm. 
Maybe. Let's see. I'm, I'll take a look at it there for a while. Let's see. I need my martini right here in the middle. My Cosmo. Oh. Okay. Let's put this stamp. On the tail of the seal. And again, look at your edges down here at the bottom. A little bit of that tail I didn't want to show. Let's see, where do we want her? Right here. I need to trim this area right here. Okay, now one last decision. Do I want my lady, my other lady's head here? I you know, I think I do. <laughs> Just to make it a little bit more surreal, a little more magical. So let's bring her right here. Be behind the shell. What do you think? I'm thinking I really like it. <laughs> I think putting her head up here on this on the seal was just too much fun. And I, we have everything balanced now. And uh, I love it. I really do. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and trim off the bottom here. 
so it doesn't distract us. And here we are. This is sealed. And I really, really, I really, really like it. I'll tell you what, I'm going to um, scan this and include a, a watermarked copy of it um, in, in the kit. So uh, it may be smaller than this. And then I'll put the uh, owl and the um, mortar and pedestal on the uh, on that sheet too, so you can have have a reference to look at. Oh, I forgot one thing. I have this little tiny area right there that I need to fill in. So let's see. it that's good you know what I really liked about working on this white background is I didn't have to go in and worry about all these real little teeny spots of white so I really really like that and I still have room if I wanted to play with some ransom note lettering or something like that but I think I like this just the way it is. So I think I think it's it. This magic has been has been worked. And we have another surreal collage here. And I'm I have to say I'm really, really uh, liking this series. So let's call that a collage. And I hope you all enjoyed that and will maybe decide to make a collage that makes a comment about something um, or this, you know, collaging sometimes brings up uh, things in our subconscious that we aren't even aware of. And as I look at this, more stories are starting to come out like, you know, sometimes I felt like a, like a slug or a snail because I, you know, it, it seemed life slowed down um, during the heavy duty pandemic lockdown time. And also, um, you know, this is kind of gaining some weight here and gaining wisdom at the same time. Um, and communicating to people also having to deal with this uh with this illness this virus that crossed the world so that's it i hope you all enjoyed that and i hope you all are having a great day or evening whichever the case may be when you watch this uh, magical monday collage uh if you have not joined my channel please do subscribe I try to be here every Monday and this week I'm going to start a new uh, junk journal or journal my uh, autumn grimoire journal and um, and we'll probably be seeing you more uh, a little bit more each week now that autumn is here and company is gone for the season and I have a little bit more time to spend in my studio um, creating videos and editing. So many blessings to you. I'll see you again really soon. Bye for now.